start this episode off with, well, I'd say a bang. 99 overall reliever. Patrick Berry might be coming to the club. I mean, having a great year so far this season. Um, just signed a new contract with the Astros. We've seen what he could do. Um, well, we would have to give up Kesson Hira, which would suck. Because I don't, I mean, yeah, I don't want to give him up. He, he's 25, he's 80, he's 80, he's an 82. And then, I guess you, he would be the big piece, but also Kyle Crick, who's really soft for us. He's on a one-year deal, though. Um, he's just not. Like, you see, he did so good last year. He was lights out, but he's just not, I'm not sure he's going to continue on with this team. I mean, I don't like that we take a hit cap-wise. That bothers me. So Barry will more than likely be traded again. Not this year, soon. But for right now... That just, boom. And then, with doing that, we can go down to our AAA roster and um, we should have two people down here that want the call. Yeah, Johnny. Oh, Johnny Nielsen's in AA. Wow. I'm going to call up Jeremy Kaufman. I'm going to do it. Oh, he needs to be on the... Okay. Jeremy Kaufman... Going to make the move to the big leagues. Now, this isn't cheating. I'm going to go in here. Edit player. Um, it just bothers me. That's not what I wanted to do. Definitely not going to give him a unibrow. I'm going to... Those just bothered me. And now seeing it, <laughs> his hair kind of bothers me too. It just doesn't seem like, you know, the Patrick Berry type hair. Okay, we'll give him that. Should we give him any facial hair? Should Patrick Berry have some facial hair? Patrick Berry, let's see. New Toronto Blue Jay. He crushed... Jays fans dreams in that ALCS a few times but uh you know since then in the off season he's he's grown himself out of beard um he's grown himself out of beard and uh yeah traded to Toronto there you go and 97 overall, Patrick Perry added to the club. Look at this team. We have Kevin Vina, who's 19-year-old, 73 overall. Our team, I made some moves. I made those trades, and um, I guess I just drafted well. The fact that we have really solid young players now. Um, but I kind of want Jordan... Hicks down there. And Maranch is going to move to the setup role. Oh, but I was not expecting to uh, start a video here. Whoops, okay. Oh, okay, I know. I was going to do this Washington series. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this. You can uh, watch on with me. I mean, I'm not going to hop know. into this game, but I always like having quick hands on just in case. Oh, there we go. Base is loaded. I'll take a sack down. Rudolph Walk and RBI single from Soto. That's what I'm talking about. I see Sean Manaya. 0 and 4 record, but pretty good ERA. Hasn't gotten any run support in the game pitch. Two run shots are called in the next one. Looking for. And a two run shot from the Twins. I'm your girl, Junior is actually killing it this season. Base is loaded for Trout, he's out. And uh, I'm going to keep Barry. Um, I'm going to see how long we can go without using him. 
That way, uh, his first appearance with us, we can play. Uh, don't tell me they just sent down Oh No. They definitely just sent down Oh No. Hello there, baseball yeah, fans. Let's down recap here, what went this. down around the league on um, Wednesday. Derek Looking first Lovell. at the American League East, the Blue Jays Everybody held the opposition Derek, right? at bay yep, with only four go. hits. Derek as Lovell they defeated on the, the Twins in the Twin Cities, 7-2. to two. Guy's like screaming The Bow Sox completed a three-game series sweep as they beat the Tribe in this Cleveland 6-0. This I can go to my AAA roster, call back Yankees up Ono, who I don't hits, even know how as they took still down has visiting Mariners minor league options. The Baltimore Orioles knocked out 12 hits as a team as they defeated like, the A's in Oakland 7-3. They they sent, they've sent him down so much. combined for four it total home runs really as they beat frustrated. the visiting Rays 8-3. The Angels amassed 14. All right, here we go. Robbie Ray. Didn't we have Robbie Ray? I feel like we had Robbie Ray. I mean, I'm not sure 100% that we did, but... Oh, no, no, no. Jeremy Kaufman's not playing. Oh, um, he can't play outfield, but he is. Jeremy Kaufman's first game. I don't want him to get a hit. Brian Hayes. Brian Hayes is going to be really good for us. Some guy gets up that solo shot. And we have four more while he's out. No, but Kaufman is going to get the start in that game against the Nationals that we play. This game has not gone in our favor. 72. Uh, it's not going to turn into our favor either. Casey Mai is having a very good year out of the 10. I'm happy with what I'm seeing from him. But we don't get anything going that game. Well, I don't really care. I'm going to be so mad if they sent down Ono again. Thank you. Well, actually, I don't want to do another Barrios game. Paxton. We'll do Cavedo, game three of the set against the Red Sox. And then there'll be another episode. Um, no. Then there'll be... Uh, Hold on. Now they're just doing this to mess with me. Yes. Play ball. Ball. Now they're just messing with me. There you took a one nothing out of you. Make that three nothing. There you go. Not doing very well. I got ten. I got eight. I'm not used to it, but when uh, Uno gets on. Read that. When uh, Uno gets on, I need to make sure that I uh, steal. Well, I can't. Three. In front of him, but yeah, I need to make sure that I steal because he's fat. He's 92 speed. I'm like, he is fast back. Triple. Please go ahead. A walk. And a double play. So, it's not looking like we're going to be able to pull out a win. Um... 13 and 20 to start the year, not good. Eight games out of the division. The Red Sox lead the division. We need to win these games. Very important games. No, skip. Skip. Let's play ball. Bases are loaded. Andujar will walk home around. I will take it. We Three. take a one nothing lead. And then Paul Leon goes deep. And then Juan Soto goes Three. deep. It's four to nothing. Maybe we might get a call to start out of Paxton for the first time. Yeah, I'm sure I need to think of that. Four three game just like that. Oh my gosh. And it's tied. Soto 
comes out. Oh my gosh, how do we not score? Pitching change. Four. We can walk him around. They scored three red in him to take a lead. Really? 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 That was such a close game, and then it just got out. Three losses in a row, nine games out of the division. The Orioles are 18 and 15, and only three and a half out. Our division's not doing very well this year. Either way, playing Boston. Let's see, we're going to play at Fenway. Cavedo on the mound. Here, Jeremy Kaufman gets the start in right. To Brian Hayes will get the start at third. Rendon getting the start at Rendon can't play first. Oh, never mind. I guess he can't. Well, yeah, okay. Um, I'll give Ono the start over Real Muto. We're going to put in our, our young guys for this one. Let them hit. Yeah, let's go. Wait, yeah, yeah, it's probably best to sit Soto. So we're just going to move. Yeah, we'll do that. Jeremy Kaufman making his Major League debut. It's weird that the Blue Jays are known as like this really good developmental team. And I took control of them. I kind of took that away. And now we're back to being a really good developmental team. We're going to get after the afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you inside Fenway Park in Boston. Today, we wrap up the road trip with the third of three between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Boston Red Sox. Jeremy Kaufman makes his big league debut right after this. Jeremy Kaufman, I actually Ready did now, go in. I Francisco changed his Lindor. number to 16. My PlayStation's being really loud. That's not good. I changed his number to 16 because... Leave this one off today. Um, it's... I don't know. I kind of wanted to attribute it Back to Jose middle. Fernandez. And a base hit, just, so early trouble to lead off I don't the know. Inning. I felt like... I felt I just I mean, felt the need to, to do the something like that. Right so you get him down 0-2, no yep, put I, away pitch. I put him in. So uh, neutral, his number's not. Like, so his well, number was the shot. same as Jose Fernandez. Lead off hit for Francisco Lindor. Now it's a 2 two to Mike Trout. Did he go? Started to go. Did, did, did he hold go. up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. What's his name? George Trejo on the mound for Boston in this one. He looks to help the Red Sox complete the Heading sweep out towards over their right. division Judges rivals. Under it. And that's the first out of the inning. The Red Sox made the playoffs last year, but ended up losing now to the Rangers. Now a moment Rangers as we take a look at the Jays' starting nine for this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Yeah, well, Matt, they like really said a lot during the postseason to walk off I mean, this is a guy that drove in over 110 runs a year ago, Absolute so he's expected to produce big for all Red Sox Sometimes fans expectations you know, had can be crippling, though. So hopefully so he can block those out, out here and this right season. the ship They made some big moves in the offseason, signing... Uh, Mookie Betts, Aaron Judge. Oh, trying to pick up that outside corner, I think they got James Italian and back too, that even at two balls and two strikes. Two. And our division got really, really tough. That misses, and, and it's we have set not up a big played well against any teams, really. This got to execute That's a good why we're pitch nine right games here. Under five Runner at first is probably going to be on the move. We've won 35 games in a row before. On their team up at the so fly ball out to straight away I'm not center. too worried about Waiting it because if we do Hanniger. that again, then we're going to be ahead of the division by five trouble, games. And there are two away. I don't think we could ever do that again. I don't think anybody will ever do that for real. But because that's now like batting, impossible Vladimir to do. Guerrero. But the point is, we were able to do it. In this one. And, uh, and running is Lindor. Hit the yeah. other way out toward right field. Guerrero drives Judge that one pretty well move. towards right field. Aaron Judge gives it a He's run. It'll be brought in on the warning track in the inning. 
Alejandro Cavedo, the pitcher Cavedo in this one. See, he Blue took Blake Snell's number four. Dan, any Snell used hey, to wear number four when he was on the team. He signed with the pitcher. Twins in the offseason. And, uh, yeah, Alejandro Cavedo so decided to, to uh, quite a few guys in this take one the number four for himself. And we'll see if he can do it justice like Blake Snell did. Because I'm not mad at Blake Snell. He the helped us out through the time we had with him. I mean, we traded Lourdes Duriel Jr. for him. He's somebody who is hard to give up, but I mean, he gave us some no-hitters. He gave us some great moments, and I'm not going to be mad at Blake Snell for leaving. And, uh, yeah, he... And games at home. He, I guess, so I'm, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't say he's a higher so number. He wasn't on the team long enough for that. But I'm going to hope Alejandro Cavedo can give the number the justice. Is... And I'm going to hope Alejandro Cavedo can make it known, but can make it so maybe by the end of his career, nobody will ever know, will ever remember the number four in, in Toronto Blue Jays history as Blake Snell. They'll remember it as Alejandro Cavedo, like 10 times I younger. So that might be getting ahead of ourselves. One two pitch to Alan Bennett. Line towards center field. And that's a, a base hit, hit. So the pressure's on to open up the inning. I'm shocked he got to that pitch right there. In today's and game, now, loading up leg kicks. Oh, nope. to Brian Hayes is the hands, to Brian Hayes, Hayes, you can see not a big dude at all. By. He is a small man. He he's like Jose uh, Altuve. One, one. Great contact so hitter. Play, he, he can give the ball a strike. ride every once in a while, Bennett but he's no, uh, he is no power hitter. And it might be a while till he hits his first career. Lays off. Off. Two and two now. <laughs> two, two now. Two, number nine for Brian Hayes, I believe. I don't think anybody has worn number yeah, nine for us so a good eye there since he works the count back full. Devin Travis yeah, did that Yeah, now you've got a guy up there one. trying to give you an out by bunning. So the, the last thing you want to do is waste pitches and Kaufman maybe on put deck. yourself in a situation where you can Rounder field it cleanly. One is a uh, double the play. Double it is two away from Jeremy Kaufman. Batting seven. The right fielder. Jeremy. I don't know if they're gonna give him like a... Here it is. Jeremy Kaufman, Jeremy Kaufman an early round making his in the major draft league debut. Back, and now he's here for his first major league at bat. Let's do this. You know, I'm man, actually this really excited. Work at his craft, iron out some things down in the minor leagues. He wasn't a I think I drafted him in the draft. And these are the guys that make the organization okay. smile know. when they show up. Uh, there's well, been so many Red people Sox that have come to this team in different ways. I don't know how anybody things clicking. It'll be a 2-2 count. They're coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell look sense. in their eyes. Really they feel familiar. good about know, where they're at. They've won a few games in a row. I don't know whose it is, but I feel like that trend today. Count remains two and two. I feel like I might remember now another way. two two. Just oh missed my with the two goodness, two that is not an easy pitch now. to take, but he does. Right, and the count is full. Lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, three, but two he to didn't Kaufman. quite get it to come back all the way to the He corner. will pop that's it up, and that's how guys. his first career Swinger at bat will end. Right. He makes the play, and that'll end the end. So we'll go to the bottom of the second, where Alejandro Cavedo is going to look to do exactly what now he did back in the first. A great fastball Judge. catching the corner, and it will be a one-two pitch to Aaron and Judge. He, he goes down swinging, there's one away. The strikeout Aaron and Judge just one doesn't gone. look right. All right, guys, time for a look at how the Toronto Blue Jays set up on defense. 3-1. And this team's lucky enough to have their own glover play shortstop. The captain of the infield. And the offense knows if the ball's hitting his direction, you can pretty much much take the right hand turn and go back to your dugout not only the routine ones but the highlight real ones as well. swing and a miss Cavedo like another punch there. out he got him to swing through it for the second out the third of the game so bases are empty here and with two Haniger. Gone. And up is he going to contribute to the curse Haniger. of people who used to be on Haniger. our team absolutely destroy us not yet he's got it and the side is retired not yet you see Kana Ono's batting stance. I can't hear it. Single for Longoria. And, uh, and that will bring yeah, up the first of Max Muncy. Full count pitch. Max Muncy hits that ball well pretty far into the left. Soto is going to grab that. No, that's not Soto. Yeah, it is. And he'll pull into second. That'll be a lead off double for Max Muncy. Now, 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 Max
when you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. Bird face about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the Red Sox. Two and two. Two-two pitch from Cabedo. Just inside. Three-two now. Blake Schweighart on deck. Blake Schweighart will be next. Schweighart on the Red Sox for the Muncie LFB. stands at second with no out. And it's second. fouled away. It is bugging me because I I really recognize There's Jeremy Thompson's bad I want to say it's Frank Thomas, but I'm not this sure. One in on the run as he because I don't know why, but it just looks so familiar down. to me. I really want to say it's Ken Gitchy Jr. Schweiger, by now. He's really swinging a hot bat in the series. Oh, oh. He had that bat movement and stuff. RBIs on four base hits. Here now um, the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, Look down it's and the just count like, moves Ken Gitchy Jr. Jorge Polanco will be next. This one looks Count still full, 3-2. and But I feel like... Another full count pitch on its way. Maybe There's Jim Tomei it could be too. This one gets away a bit. That one in the dirt. Oh, no, sir. Oh, wow. They almost got it. That would be rude to wild. Into the box now. Jorge Polanco. And their runners at the corners now. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around right right home plate. The batter number 15. Two away now. Tyler Wade. Back it off. Can we get through this inning? To two balls two and two. two strikes now. Come on, all we need is a bottom like of inning number three. Not swing not and a miss, score. exactly. Struck him out. You talk about pulling. All right, so we're gonna skip forward now quite a bit. Single go for Guerrero, and so with two away, I want to hit with the end in this one. Hayes. To Brian Hayes up, two out, runner on first. The one-two one, to Hayes. Two. He's going to pop that center. one up. Shallow center field. Caught by and Judge get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And, and I know as soon as I do this, we're going to be down by like three. I don't know how we let him steal a base. Digging in so, for his second yeah, at I think that's going to come As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This yeah. game is rolling right well, along. It's, it's, move it's not Tim Gritchie Jr. With no score. 1-1 one, one one to Jeremy Coffin inside. He'll be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The 2-1 pitch to Coffin. Whips it back field. up the middle into Henniger. center. Wow. Right there, when you down. hit a ball so hard, so perfectly timed that you couldn't hit it better. And it gets oh, caught like that, case. you know you're Digging doing something in. right Kana at the plate oh, no. out here. Oh, no. bounce back after oh, no. striking out his Kana last Ono time up now. 1-1 yeah, one, pitch K to last him. Time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's I know just none not of our the rookie ball players team. like, like Let's see Ono if he can make and Kaufman an right here. And, and, like, I know none of them are going to be putting up my all-star number for a few seasons. Because they're all like 60, 70, 60, game, watch those two 60 now, mid 60 actually, low 70 overall. So. And then one's a single. Go figure. Come on, one out. In now, Paul DeYoung. A pitch out. The throw. Poor base running there. Got him caught the hot box between first and second. What just happened? And he is out on the tag. Is he safe in there? Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, there was two episodes ago. I messed up the game. Gets the sign. Here running. comes the 2 1. Slap and De Jong slicing away judge from Judge, he gets there, there and he'll make the catch to retire the... Wow, no offense really for either side, I shouldn't have said that. Wow, they don't score, alright, let's see, Francisco Lind Lindor can do anything, he's 2 for 2, now. it's a 2-1 count, let's see if he can make that 3 for 3. Maddie, he checks he every has singled box. twice, Charisma, smile. and he's it's also flown out sides of the plate center with field. Pop. Defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. They're still naming stuff that's great about the center fielder. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. A 1 1 pitch to Trout with one away. Hit the other way. That's it pretty well towards right field. Judge chases. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now back into the box now. Now we're going to get him the day off. There'll be two away for him. 
it wasn't. It, it was. I was right. It wasn't Soto. In left ball field. and two strikes now. I thought I saw the number zero on the back, and I did, because that's Alan Bennett's name. The one, two. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Chopper to short, tough play. Polanco throw will be in time. We have had a pitcher's duel. Like, you see that, how are you going to hit that? That ball moves so perfectly. And that one misses badly, it's ball two. It'll be 2-2. Two, two. Bad off. Oh no, we'll call. Line shot beyond the run away from it. Jeremy Coffin boots it in the outfield. Oh man, the rookie makes a mistake. That is exactly what you call. A rookie mistake. Nobody out. And up next, the exciting left. Booted it, and that allowed the runner Wade to get one for three. Three one. Two. Andrew Benintendi and he goes a lot. Things around. could be getting pretty bad for the Jays. Like We're going to get Number some people warmed up, specifically Patrick Gary and Judge. Andreas Mamarejo. 1-1 one, one to Judge. Fouled, Fouled off, 1-2. No runs, three hits, and no errors and for the one, Red Sox. 1-2. Right, Judge able to get a piece of it. Keep his up that alive. And he won't go after two, two. the cut fastball, 2-2. Two and two. A lot of times you see guys. That was a terrible pitch. By Judge. Deep left field. And it's gone. End of the game. Three nothing red side. Five nothing red side. Three hits to the second. So now it will be the four hole hitter, Vladimir Guerrero. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So far in the game. One Starting one to run. him. Uh, He's going to hit a fly ball straight up into the air, right center field, carrying onto the warning track. One away. To get on base and ignite a rally. And we're going to just now try and string together now something the here box, because we're in trouble if we get swept. One out, one one count. Here comes on Bennett, one and uh, one. Fastball we'll the well fast outside. Ball outside. Too long. <laughs> Bennett acquired by, by a Carter Witt and company being traded to the Line Kansas City. Line drive Witt. to center field. That's in front base and he's two for three. And, and that's just another Hino base hit in a long line of many. Seems like he's been the outfield. stretch the entire game, but, and, uh, but somehow he's still got a right, shutout right, going. Let's see how long he can make this last. I set my eyes on Alan Bennett and somebody who could be a good target. Good Stepping in now, Brian Hayes. So Brian Hayes. He takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Um, yeah, when I went in and I was like, because, um, the 2-1 home. Um, now a ball lined to the left side. Uh, uh, yeah, this is so, a foul like, ball. for, can't uh, imagine he name? comes back with a third Dude, I traded ball. to the Padres That hitter looked for, like he like, timed that one up pretty, pretty well and just, just missed it, fouling it away. Line to um, center field. But sadly for him, this will head yes. straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much uh, trouble for know, the second like, out. Um, like, like I changed the way Cabrian Hayes looked. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jeremy okay. Kaufman. I mean, he's still hitting in the majors after end up two at bats. No Kaufman, doubt he'd like to turn that zero Kaufman, batting well. average into a 333 here. Um, yeah, I know it. Yeah, so since they could end up being like the face of the team, I, I, I like go and I, I'll switch up the way they look, kind of like what you saw I did with Patrick Bailey. Like, that's the extent really what I do. Um, and You're so, Justin Grimm, and I summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Digging in and looking for more. Kana Ono, he singled in two trips to no, the plate. No, Kana Ono, no way, no way. It doesn't no look way. very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get um, some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Oh, oh yeah, so, so, so yeah, I changed the way he looked, and then I, I realized that the there, I guess Strikeout there was no audio for Brian so Hayes. I don't know Two why, because it was like auto-generated name, and they didn't have audio for it, which was really on weird. Two and one. But either way, I just I went in and I put in Brian as a right-hander. Yeah, I guess it's Cabrera, is that right? 
try to hold back, and but he won't away. be able to as that's ruled a swing. And it's and there are two looking good for the Blue Jays lineup. Looks like we're probably going to get to it. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out here. on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So here we go. Stepping in now it's is time. Mitch Hanniger. And he's the reigning American Toronto Blue Jays debut for Patrick, Patrick Barry. Patrick Barry number is on the pitch here in the eighth. Let's see what he can do. Out. He wears number Barry. 17 for us, I guess. Swing and a ground ball. That'll be a ground third. ball. Hayes. That'll be to Brian Hayes. Throw gets him one the gun. Diamond in time on the left. Hayes, um, I'm going to try and see, uh, try and see if we can get him a secondary position because he's not going to be able to get any playing time with Anthony Rendon being the starter because Anthony Rendon is just going to be the key, so why in the world do I start some 60-some overall rookie, is it? Now I would. Michael Chavis won the two count. So, um, the one, two. Let's see if I can get him a secondary position that way he can get him some more ball. playing time. But I'm, think, I'm thinking two like ball pretty well. I think two, it's two or right three years, that ball hit pretty well by Jay, but that ball's at. carrying we'll towards the wall. And he caught the ball. Is gonna have um, room out there. I'm thinking in a few Brian years, that, like, we're going to be a pretty young team because Mike Trout's getting up there in age now, I mean, and he's still very good, but he's not, Mike Trout, and they'll need him to get something he's not going as here. good as he used to be, I don't know if he's really a 31 a million dollar man in the first round right or in now. the first year player draft of 2012. Yeah, he has turned I himself mean, into he's a still, really nice ball player. He's still one of, if not the level, greatest baseball you know player of all time. They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the two, way this two. guy has, nice pick. There's a drive. Route to the left air. center Deep field. Left that center ball he just field. got under. Henniger on the warning track as he paused it in for a loud out number one. He hit that one pretty well, but in now is Anthony Rendon. He's hitless in three at bats. One one count now, Anthony Rendon up. With one away, he shoots that ball right at the umpire. Almost took his head off. One out, nobody on. One fan almost got two season years for the price of one. Instead it'll be a one two count. That ball hit back up the middle. Great play at short by Jorge Polanco. Wow. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. It'll be a full count, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero. Three, two, pitch. Make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the night. Fly ball. This is it. Left center field. Left center. Ball game over the Blue Jays. And this one is the Red Sox. Five-nothing, the final score today. Judge your player of the game. You can see the stats there. Judge had a very good game. That'll wrap.